Hello fashion lovers and welcome to the fashion dance stylist Amoda. If you find this channel interesting, if you find this video interesting, please like the video, share the video and subscribe the channel. In today's uh, video, we'll be learning the draping techniques of straight, straight dresses. Here I have made all the figures after blocking and the hairstyle and the faces because I have taught all this in my previous video. So let's start the further process. I'm making the off the shoulder dress so first I'll be giving the shape to the neckline like this and then I have given the armhole then the sleeve sleeve is I'm making the three quarter sleeve so it is it is having the fall it would be having the fall at the elbow same at the another side straight line a uh, little bit fall of the fabric like this and then the bottom line now for the dress make it with the body little bit apart from the body at the waist it would be it would have a fabric fall then at the hip it would be with the body and at the thighs it would be a little bit apart from the body same at the second side you should keep in mind the posture of the figure and accordingly you can make the falls like this see uh, we have given the outline to the dress now for the another dress i'm making one shoulder off first we'll be making the neckline same technique then give the shape to the armhole if it is required then waist fall then the length of the dress here i am making a slant dress so this bottom line and so you just think of the shape of the dress and then you can drape it here i'll be making a sleeve one sleeve it is little bit loose see if it is with the body it would have the impact of previous and if it is loose then you can make the footwear also i'm not explaining it because in previous video we have discussed it if you are not following my videos from day 1 you follow it and you'll come you'll come to know about all the process because i'm not showing my uh, expertise here i'm just trying to teach you the techniques and it is step by step so in previous videos i have taught all block figures and everything now the other parts now let's render it now i'm uh, in today's uh, section will be render it with the plastic crayon it will give the impact of cotton type fabrics like if you want to give it the impact of cotton type fabrics give it with wax crayon and with the light hand like this give the shape to the bust remember the fall of the bust level will be little bit down from the bust always keep it in your mind then give the simple shading as you were doing in the general flash figures but the difference is now it is on fabric so you have to keep your hand little bit light because i am giving it the effect of impact of uh, cotton so cotton is not very lustrous fabric it's it's not having a very uh, lustrous surface so you just give it a dull look for that you have to use your hand very lightly on the crayon and uh, itself the plastic crayon itself has a very dull uh, you can say appearance in while you are coloring the dresses see now you can feel the dullness of cotton here like this just mix it now 
like this see now you can see you can see on the sleeve to you can see the entire shade i've given but on dress also soon you will see the impact always remember the folds the fabric folds it is generally generally it is uh, spread it at the upper side and it it comes in v shape type of shading like this and generally the bottom of the fabric is always dark as compared to the upper portions just to give it to the shape like so now approximately the base is complete now give the outline with the same color it will highlight your dress it is important part of uh, the sketching like this see now you can see the shape of the sketch like now give the simple folds of fabric it depends upon the posture of the figure see it will give the real look to the fabric like this okay now we will give the final impact to the this here i am making a small lace type of fabric which is bit transparent so i am giving first i am giving the outer shape and then i'll do it with the hatching see now you can feel like legs are visible under this fabric like this done now the same thing i'll do on the sleeves also like this now the bottom part of the the base part of the dress is about done this see the base is done now i'll now just color the footwear also now it is turn to give the print effect to the figure for that what i am doing i am putting just polka dots with the poster color and use of match stick the head portion of the match stick i am dipping it into the color and just stamping it on the dress like this see what beautiful impact it has given if you would see now let it dry once it has been dried then you can give i am just uh, giving the shape of a flower uh, to this dot so that with the help of pencil of green color i am giving i am making the leaves so that it will give the impact just like this is a printed fabric and just to highlight the flowers i am just putting the dots again dots of pink color with the help of pencil
now the dress has been completed you can see so this is the technique when you want to give the print to the dresses printed dresses can be made by like this so in this dress i'll keep the base white but it is it will not give the 3d impact to the figure if you will keep it white like that so you do one thing you just highlight the areas which would be darker or which should be shaded in uh, that way or i'm doing it with the black color by using a little small uh, i'll just losing uh, using a um, very light hand just to give the gray impact the areas which are actually uh, shaded or you can do it with the help of pencils also any light pencil 2h pencil or something you can use once your hand is clear with so you can use the light hand with the crayons or the pencil colors or something it's up to you so i'm doing it for the base only because i'm planning this dress to make in zebra print like this see and finally give the impact to the inner fabric and the folds natural folds of the fabric according to the posture of figure the base is done now we'll give the impact to the zebra print like this it's up to you because it's very uh, abstract print you don't have to plan it before you do but it should be clear in your mind that how zebra print zebra stripes look like or you can take some uh, references from the magazines or from the pictures of zebra or whatsoever print you are making like this it will give a beautiful impact to the dress because animal prints are always used to be in in the fashion it never goes out the leopard print the zebra print the uh, you can say the tiger print or the uh, you can the skin of snake that is the sails of fish these all designs are always generally these are in fashion you can use them whenever you want like this i'm making very uh, you can say thin stripes like this see see the impact and on the sleeves once it has been create completed then i'll give the i'm giving the outlines to the entire dress like this here i'm making a strip suspended on the shoulder and outline of the dress see now the footwears and the dress is complete so you make some dresses on your own and uh, now i'll finish it off thank you for watching this video friends we'll meet in the next topic in next video till then bye bye and see you again